and then this will allow me to put a piece of molding there. Hey guys, Brad here, and today we're going to be taking a look at a Festool vacuum clamp. This is not like the larger clamp. This is just a small attachment for your vacuum for helping you out when you're doing some finishing. Basically what this does is it sticks to a wall with the suction from the vacuum and it allows you to hold say some molding up against the wall. So if you're doing cornice work, crown work, uh, chair rail, you know, anything like that, any kind of small moldings, this will really, really help. So there's a small gasket around the bottom here that suctions itself to the wall essentially or to a cabinet and you want to make sure that, that that surface is fairly smooth because if it is sort of pebbly and air can get out around the edges this will not stick very well. So with the adjustment this can rotate 360 degrees and if you're on something really delicate when it's sticking here if you want to release the air instead of just pulling it off you just pull this down. When you pull this green sleeve down, you open up some air ports on the sides here, on both sides. And that will allow more of the suction to come out the side, and it'll allow you to pull this off the wall a lot easier. So, and then it is kind of sticky to get back on sometimes. I don't know why, but it just is. Now, the overall dimension of this is well, just one sec here. If we clamp this over, okay, there we go. We're looking at two inches, all right. So, from when it's on the wall to your product, you've got a two inch space. So I'll demonstrate this with a piece of molding so you better understand what I'm talking about here. Um, but yeah, you've got all these different sizes so you can put different pieces of molding in there to hold it as tight as you can to the wall if that's what you need to do. Now this thing is, is handy. Um, I have noticed on drywall sometimes it doesn't stick the greatest and part of the reason, which is, is a big reason, is you got to make sure that your vacuum filters are really clean when you're using this particular item. If your vacuum is really dirty and you're not getting maximum suction, then this is not going to stick as, as well as it should. So tip, just make sure you are cleaning your vacuum and you're getting max suction. Also make sure that if you're using the Festool vacuum that the uh, volume is turned up all the way so you're getting maximum suction all right so that's what we're gonna do now this just twists on here there's no uh, lock inside so it's just simply press it on okay you can twist it twist it a little bit and it helps work it in a little bit better but that's what we're looking at all right so now I'll turn the vacuum on Huh? That's it. And then pull this down like that. And then this will allow me to put a piece of molding there. Like that. So that's basically all this is used for. It's just, it's like a second hand, right? If you're working by yourself and you're doing some crown work or cornice work or whatever. Um, this really kind of helps you hold it up on the surface without marring anything or, you know, nailing, nailing a block up or something like that. So 
It's a quick little handy tool to have, I think, in your arsenal of uh, Festool awesomeness. So, yeah, um, handy little tool. Leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think of these things. Uh, I'd love to hear from you. I've only used this a few times, and it has worked for me. Um, and, yeah, I, it's just handy to have. So, yeah, let me hear what you guys think of them, and uh, leave me a comment. But, uh, yeah, if you like the video, thumbs up. Subscribe, hit that notify bell, all that good stuff. Till next time, keep on crushing it. We'll catch you later.